Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got Polish Obscurus and I'm going to do a water marble. I've started off with Neltik's Formula 2 and then I followed it with Starting Over by American Classics. I'm doubling up on my base. And here is Polish Obscurus. Beautiful, beautiful polish. So I'm going to cap my free edge first. And this water marble is going to be a little different than my normal ones. It's going to be kind of like a negative space water marble. But we'll get to that here in a little bit. So I'm going to go in with my first coat of Obscurus. And as always, this polish is fantastic. The formula is just perfect. No pooling, no flooding. Very smooth application. And considering all that blingy going on in it, it's just perfect. And now I'm going to do my second coat. It's going to build it up just perfect. Look how gorgeous. It's like a blurple. I'm going to top it with some Fast and Hard from Vibrant Vinyls and get it to dry down. You can tell the nail I haven't done and the nail I have done. It just, this top coat adds so much to a manicure. Any nice glossy top coat will. Capping my free edge again. And today I'm going to be using Pipe Dream Polish Clear Water. Many indie companies have a polish like this. And I'm going to use Game Over by Brave Steve at a water marble with. I got my little room temperature cup of water, my tool, and I'm going to be using Protect Peel and some tape today. So here we go. Let's just hop right on in. I'm going to start off with a drop of black polish from Brave Steve, cleaning off my little water marble tool. And then I'm going to use the clear water. And what that does is it gives a clear view to the polish underneath. So this is a real nice way to, you know, showcase a glittery, crazy bomb polish. Um, and so that you get those rings that will, you know, peek through and let you see that base color. You can see I've already done my thumb, my practice finger. <laughs> So here we go. I am trying a new design in the water and I don't execute it very well this go. Um, my thumb was okay and my ring finger was really good, but my middle finger wasn't. But you know, that's the nature of water marbles. They're never gonna turn out the same. So I'm gonna do the four petal flower first and then I'm kind of swirling from like the third ring just kind of into the center and swirling it. It's really hard to see. Next time I do this, I will try to do better. But that's the design I was shooting for, kind of like an M in the water. I'm gonna hold that cut between my ring finger and my thumb and use a cut Q-tip to get the excess up. If you're having trouble getting it up, you can blow on the water. I actually couldn't reach mine with my blowing, so I just had to be patient and just keep working it. And then you're gonna wanna slowly remove your nail out of the water real easy. So there we go, I'm loving that one. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this tape and latex with my little tweezers. I'm gonna get my other finger ready and we're gonna do my middle nail. Same process, we're gonna start off with the black, run that water marble tool around the cup to bring it to the edge, all that polish to the edge where it does stick good. And then we're going to do drops of each with the clear water and the black cream. So there we go. Just build that bullseye up. I have another one of these kind of clear polishes from Dainty Digits, which is now Baby Girl Lacquer. Um, I don't think Pipe Dream Polish is making stuff anymore. I'm not 100% sure on that. If I'm wrong, I will leave a link for them down below. Um, but like I said, there's a lot of, Parrot Polish has one. There's a lot of companies. And you can sometimes use regular, you know, store-bought clear polishes to do this. So I'm coming from the outside ring, kind of twirling and dipping down. I'm going to do it again, going from the other direction, twirling the other way, doing the same thing. Now this one didn't turn out as pretty as I wanted, so I was about to dip and I changed my mind. I'm like, just because you did it don't mean you have to go now. Just stop. Stop. 
I've got two other sides, so I'm going to do the same swirly twirly and try to, you know, get it to work on this other side of the cup. There we go. I'm a little happier with that one. It's not, it's not like the other one, but it'll work. I'm going to dip down, pinch that cup between my finger and my thumb, and hold on to it so I don't knock it over. And then I'm going to go in and clean up that excess again. Now, I know I'm kind of dogging on this one. I just want you to know that um, I'm, I was completely stoked with this manicure. I was very happy with it. I just wanted to, you know, let you guys know that I, you know, they didn't turn out the way I had hoped, but I was still very pleased with the manicure. Getting off this tape and latex, my little tweezers, and there we go. They look nothing alike, but they're both black and purple, so it works. I'm going to go in with my acetone and my cleanup brush and do a little bit of cleaning up here. Get that out of the way so I don't knock it over. Because I do, I knock things over all the time on my manicure table. That's why we have a big mat underneath me. Getting all up under that nail. I'm going to use the sticky base from Pro FX for my two other fingers. Because I've decided I'm going to add some of these little plastic fake gem looking things. I'm going to use like a big one in the middle and then two on either side of it. I just, you know, figured they needed something. Got my little gem picker there. If you don't have one of these, a lot of times I just use Woody with a little bit of, you know, clear polish on the tip of him. So there we go. I'm trying to get those in position. And I'm going to top it all off with some posh, get it to dry down. Love, love a glossy top coat. Mm -mm -mm. Just makes a manicure look so polished, pun intended. <laughs> so on these stones, I'm, since they're plastic, I'm just going over them real thick with my um, top coat, kind of dabbing it on there, letting it kind of slide around. The whole gem because I don't use glue for gems I just use top coat and you know it works for me so there we go we're gonna break Woody out here and do a little bit of cleanup for any poolage and there we go there's my manicure so I hope you like this one leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about it I love to hear from you I want to thank you for watching until next time be good to yourself I'll talk to you soon